Today, I'll be opening up an $85 comic book mystery box from Retriever Comics. Stick around. What's going on everybody? It's your boy DJ Lynx back DJ in the building, Lynx. back in effect, and back with another video. And today I'll be opening up an $85 comic book mystery box from Retriever Comics. Now, first and foremost, big shout out to my boy Brock Morgan for putting me on to Retriever Comics. He opened up a comic book mystery box on his channel a few days ago, and I just loved what he got. And I was just like, I need one of those. So I immediately went on Instagram. That's how you hit up Retriever Comics. So hit him up on Instagram. It was just like, yo, hook me up with a box so here it is I ordered it on Saturday so I'm recording this video this Monday morning 5 a.m. I couldn't sleep so I woke up and decided to record this video that's why I look like this ah on Saturday I hit him up I ordered it it was in front of my door on Sunday night so crazy crazy shipping speed so big shout out to them for that so got my trusty blade gonna open this up I'm, I'm talking too much I just want to get ah, I don't need a blade I'm excited so comes in a priority mailer priority envelope whatever you want to call this uh, we're opening this bad boy up I guess I have to use the thing for the tape a lot of tape on this thing you know I love the comic book mystery boxes and sometimes we don't get what we want we can't always be you know chasing the GP the grand prize we got to do with what we get and it's, it's just the, the thrill, the thrill of the mystery box. So it comes in a Gemini mailer. That's the logo right there, Retriever Comics. Nice little dog. Reminds me of my dog that we had to put down a few years ago. I'm sad. Bust this open. So nice Gemini mailer. If you mail out comics, I always recommend that you keep the Gemini mailers on hand just to reuse them. Some blue tape. It, it beats having to pay for them all over again. So I always keep the mailers. You know, I sell some comics. Dope. Ah! There was just a note on the back I didn't want to read. So nice pull tabs. I'm gonna open this up tell you how many comics we got before we get into it let me just ah shit hold on uh hold on hold on, hold on. all right so there's some ones with uh, post-its and i am going to without reading the post-its i want to put those last because i figured those are the the good hits out of the bunch <laughs> there's a lot of ones with post-its so that's pretty awesome um so in total what do we got one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven comic books. And um, like I said, it was $85 shipped. Let's get into it. As always, my disclaimer there's gonna be a lot of stuff that I don't know about. I'm glad the post-it note was on it, so hopefully it tells me what the issue is and stuff like that. But as always, if there's something that you see that I don't mention on, or that I say something wrong, or that I butcher something, which I'm known to do, leave a comment down below and correct me. Be like, hey, you idiot. Get your shit straight. Ready? As always, I'm gonna show it to you first and then I'll spin it around for my reaction. Three, two, one. What do we got? Ho ho! Bane number one, the new 52 DC Comics. 23.4. Wait, what? So Bane number one, 23.4 DC Comics. Is this one of the villains took over the books? So Bane, this is dope, man. It has, I don't know what you call it. It's not holographic. I forgot what it is, what it's called. I don't know if you can see that there on the camera. This is sick. Bane choking up Batman there. Batman is chained up. Yeah, I think this was that run where all the villains took over the um, the good the, the good guys comic books. So this is pretty cool. This is a dope cover, man. Pretty cool. Off to a good start. Next book up, and this is in some Mylar goodness. Three, two, one. What do we got? Vault Comics Deep Roots. Okay, this cover is pretty dope. Reminds me of um, like the old horror uh, titles and stuff, like Tales from the Crypt, things like that. The character there reminds me of Swamp Thing a lot. 
It's like a night. I've never heard of Deep Root, so I have to look into this. Based on the cover, this thing looks dope. So, Deep Roots. This is pretty cool. Definitely going to give that a read. All right, book number three, also in Mylar. What do we got? Ooh, Daredevil 173. Daredevil goes berserk. Ah, berserk. This is a pretty dope cover. Daredevil kicking the shit out of some people. Some of my, some of my guys in the SM gear. That's hilarious. This is a dope. This is a dope cover. 50 Cent Goodness. Like I said, Daredevil uh, 173. In fantastic, fantastic shape. No spine ticks, no nothing. Same thing with these. These are in um, crazy, crazy shape. So, so far, three, pretty happy so far. Nice pick up. Again in Mylar. Love that Mylar. It makes everything magical. What do we got? Justice Society of America. Jeff Johns, blah, blah, blah. Number four. So, May uh, 2007, Justice Society of America. Uh... The art on this is pretty awesome. I have no idea who these characters are. So let me know down below who these uh, people are. It looks like there's a, a panther and then a guy in a panther suit. So, <laughs> cat fight. I, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, next book up and it has a $2.98 sticker on the back. What do we got? No idea. It's definitely a DC book. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Oh, Catwoman 79. Oh, wow, that's cool the way that they put the, um, the title into the signs in the background. So that's pretty awesome. I didn't see the Catwoman 79 um, sign right away because I saw the Sex 24-7 sign. So that's pretty dope. That's a dope cover. That's crazy the way they worked that um that title into the background like that. Catwoman 79 from July 08. This is pretty, pretty cool. Cool. Alright, next book up. What do we got? Star Wars Darth Vader 13 Variant Edition by Hastings. This is a dope cover. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Star Wars comics, to be honest. I've never opened a Star Wars comics, but this is a pretty sick cover. Loving the art on this. Um, yeah, if there's anything special about this, let me know. But this is a dope cover. Star Wars Darth Vader number 13 variant edition. Pretty cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five books left. What do we got? Invincible Iron Man number one, the variant edition. This is dope. This is dope. There's like a tick there on the top. A little spine thing there. This is pretty cool. Invincible Iron Man number one. I don't know what uh, a variant edition. I don't know how much value or what value this even has, but it's a dope cover. Dope, dope cover. Cool. This is a pretty dope box. Ah, now we get into the good stuff. So the next four books have post-its and uh, it has some prices, some last sold on eBay prices. So this one says, I'll just read it to you before I show it to you. First, Helena Bertolini, last sold price on eBay on August 28th, $9.99. So what do we got here? The Huntress number one, the first issue. Okay, so from April 89, it's in pretty decent shape. It's a little dirty there by the DC logo. Um, first Huntress. It's pretty dope. Pretty, pretty dope. Cool, I'm not mad at that at all. That's a dope cover. Huntress, Huntress, Huntress. Oh, from Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. I didn't like that movie. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, next book up, and this one I'll read it to you. The second appearance. I'm sorry. 
Second appearance of Taskmaster. Last sold price, uh, $14.99. Last sold September 7th. Marvel team up Spider Man and Ant Man. Holy crap, this thing is sexy. This thing is sexy. He's a whole swarm of villains rolled into one. The Taskmaster. So, my, my, my Marvel team up Spider Man and Ant Man. So, Marvel team up number uh, 103, 50 Cent Goodness, second appearance of Taskmaster. This is a dope cover. I am happy about this. Second Taskmaster. This is pretty awesome. This is a great box so far, all right? Two more left. So this one, the last sold price on August 3rd was 22 bucks. What do we got? The Flash, uh, number 225. Co-starring in this issue, Green Lantern. Green Lantern, Master Criminal of the 21st Century. A full length spectacular. So it has some color breaking here on the sides. It's, um, yeah, it has some damage. Still looks beautiful. Has uh, color breaking there on the top. The colors are nice. It's a pretty decent issue. Again, I am not going to lie. I've never ever opened up a Flash comic. I've never been a fan of The Flash. So this is a pretty sweet looking book though. I'm not gonna lie. Cool. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. And then, holy crap, I, I left some of this, uh, the painter's tape on this one. This one says, last sold price on eBay on August 18th was $49.28. What do we got? Let's see. I'm excited. I'm excited just for the book, not really for the last sold price. So that has nothing to do with it. But let's see what we got. It should be something good. What do we got? Oh, what? Yo. So the Avengers 125, 25 cent goodness. A sick Thanos cover battling the Avengers. They strike from space. Make way for the Marvel Age of Comics phase two. Featuring the mind shattering menace Thanos, warlord of Titan. This is a dope, sick cover. This thing is insane and you know me I, I love my thanos i love my my bad guys and this thing is in fantastic shape i think it has a bend there that's no that's the art so there we go fantastic shape spine is intact i will be sending this bad boy off to cgc and this will stay in the pc this is a sick sick book so overall I'm super happy about Retriever Comics. Thank you again to Brock Morgan for putting me on to Retriever Comics. I'm gonna leave a link to his video down below in the description so that you can check it out as well and make sure you sub him up. This is pretty dope, super happy. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Don't forget about the 300 subscriber giveaway that we're doing. We're giving away a slab of X-Men number four, first appearance of Omega Red. CGC graded at a 9.2, so make sure you check that out. I'll leave a link to that video down below as well. And as always, most importantly, spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Peace.